moment, so it's time to build some more silly brewery projects. So today's is probably completely pointless, but it should be quite entertaining. So, if you've seen before, in when I'm brewing or when I'm boiling, I have a hood that sits on top of the boiler that goes with the extractor fan that blows steam out the door. Which works fine, except it's a bit chilly leaving the door open all the time. So I've decided to have a play at something different. Now, in many commercial breweries, you have steam condensers, uh, and I'm trying to make one of these out of some bits of ducting and stuff. So what I have is I have a bit of solid ducting, a T connector, an end cap, and that's going to be the body of the thing. Uh, I'm going to cut this off a bit lower so they can sit in the sink, so I'll hold it in the bottom to let the water out. Uh, I have a bit more flexible hose to connect that up to the top of the boiler, and to condense the steam, I'm going to spray water in through the lid here. So what I have here is a very recognisable connector, basically a camel connector, and a little spray nozzle. What I'm going to do is take this apart, mount the spray nozzle in the top of here, camel connector on top of that, connect that to cold water, and I get a mist of cold of well, cold water basically, inside here. So the steam will come up out of the boiler, in through here, we can hit this spray of cold water, condense and drop out the bottom. And hopefully I can make that work and stop having to have the door open all winter. But probably pointless, might be a bit of fun. Let's see how it goes. So I think the first task is going to be to cut down this pipe to a more, more usable length. Okay, so in place in the fridge, you see these two sacks of grain for my next brew still sat stored on top of the kettle. But that looks approximately right. Fit in there, okay. It's down there. It's about the right level. It's a little bit above where the uh, dome normally sits. So hopefully that should be okay to get the steam out. Right, next stage. Okay, so the next stage is to drill a hole in this to fit this. So let's take this apart. Okay, so the spray nozzle itself is quite small. It has a relatively small thread there, with quite a wide base, so it's reasonably flexible in how we fit it. So we get the micrometer out and we'll measure how big that thread is. So we're looking at seven and a half millimeters there. Let me do a bit more accurate measurement. Okay, so phase one and two complete. We have the spray fitted, sawn down to size. Uh, I've got a little bit of water, just enough to cover the elements in here, heating up so we can test it in a minute. Next I'm going to attach the hose to it, cut that down to size, detach the current system from the dome and attach this to the dome. And then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so it looks like we're now connected up and coming up to a boil. It's time to give it a test. I'm going to connect the water up, and see, see how we're getting a spray going, and then we'll, well, we'll see how it goes from there.
Right, well that's coming up for the boil for a test. What else am I up to at the moment? Well, I've got a rather nice Saison here that I brewed a few weeks back. It's coming up very nicely. Uh, I've got a double in the brew fridge. I experimented with two packs of yeast this time, which seems to have fermented like a rocket. I've had some quite slow fermentations recently, so trying out uh, two packs of the same yeast to see if that helped. Uh, I've started some work on updating the beer fridge so that it uh, basically detects when someone is pouring beer using the camera. That should be quite fun when I get that going. Um, and I've got everything ready for another brew day in a couple of weeks' time. So you saw the malt over there. Uh, that's going to be a uh, black IPA, I think. And the black IPA in ages. Right, we're nearly there. We're at 82 degrees. So hopefully we'll have boiling soon. Okay, so we have a boil and how's it working? Well, it's still cold up here, so it's obviously hot on the ducting. This, yeah, this area is staying cool, so there's no steam escaping over here. There's a fair amount of water dripping. We've got a little bit of a leak at the top, which I think we just need to tighten some things up up there. Um, we've got some steam escaping where the hood doesn't fit precisely. A little bit more than usual, I think. A little bit more than with the uh, extractor-based systems. I think there's less positive air flow through this, though the spray should be the spray through here should be drawing air down, at least partially. So, at least a partial success, I think. It was quite a fun, quick project to knock up while we're all stuck inside. I might give it a, give a brew day a go with it and see how much steam escapes then and how much I make a terrible smells throughout the house and whether I manage to keep myself a little bit warmer. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you in another video.